Welcome to the live stream. Tonight we'll be playing American Style at Mahjong Time. If you haven't played there yet, there's a link below the video so that you can come and check it out. I do have some VIP codes, good for 30 days if you want to give it a try. This is August 2018, so it is time sensitive. If you're watching this later, I may or may not have codes. So if you want to give it a try, send me an email. My email is under the video description. If you're watching the repost, I hope you enjoy this session. Please look below the video for links to player references, some core strategy, and other decision-making reference tools that might help you improve your game. Let's live stream. Welcome to the live stream. Let me check my health on YouTube. We're green, totally green. If you know that reference, write it in chat. Speaking of chat, during the live stream, be sure to select live chat. That way you'll get chats live. Seems intuitive. Say hi if you're just joining. I'm going to be looking for an open table and I'm going to join right away. We don't have any open tables at the moment, so I'm going to just wait for one to open up here. Welcome to the live stream. Say hi in chat. Hi, Chris. Thank you for becoming a channel member. Big smile on my face when I saw your name there. Oh, thank you. The vintage set. Oh my gosh, that was so exciting. I almost marked that box though. Did you see how deep I went with that knife? That was close. Hi Kathleen, welcome to the live stream. Hi Dee. If you're just joining, say hi in chat. Oh, here's a table. We're gonna just go ahead and join and play right off the get-go. Oh, a Rangutan, okay, Carol. Thank you for sharing your name. It's easier than saying orangutan. That's really clever though. Hi, Kathy, welcome to the live stream. We're gonna be playing American style tonight. I hope I do okay. Oh, we're playing at Dove Mountain. This is a beginner table, so that'll be nice. Oh, maybe that's why they left. Let's go see if there's a different table. Um, this is an eight second table, so it might go a bit long. Let's see if we can join a six second table. That's kind of the standard. I'm going to join that one. Hi, Irene. Yes, we're going to play live. So if you have any questions, write, that, write them in the comment section or in the live chat. Make sure that you have live chat selected, not top chat. You can toggle back and forth. And top chat, I don't believe is... Um, um, let's see, based on time, live chat will be live. Top chat, I think, might be more about popularity or something. I'm not sure. Hi, Susan. Irene, Kathy, welcome everybody to the live stream. Oh, we have a bigger table here. Let's join that one. Hi, Lynn. Welcome to the live stream. We're just getting ready to play American Mahjong. That's what tonight we'll be focused on. I hope I do okay. I've been on still this terrible losing streak. It's been very discouraging, I must say. Here we go. Let's see how we go this time. I'm hoping to have some wins. I think uh, I maybe won one game the last live stream. So let's see what happens. The nice thing is we have a joker. I see a lot of one, two, three, four, so I think I'm gonna play consecutive run. All those one, two, three, four, leveraging the two, four. We might even be able to play something with two, four, six, eight, but we've got gaps. That's why I picked one, two, three, four, no gaps. Hi, Maureen, welcome to the live stream. I'm playing consecutive run right now, I think. I don't pick a hand yet. 
Not till I run out of discards. But I do have a 2-4. If I get a 6-8, I might play evens. But there's two gaps there. Not good. Welcome to the live stream, everybody. Say hi in chat if you're just joining us. This session will be focused on American Mahjong. At Mahjong time, oh, we got a, we got keepers, like numbers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like numbers. So now is when you pick a hand. So we're in the consecutive run category. So we could do two, three, four, two, three. Let's see. We could do something knitted. I think I'll get rid of the one, one, and let's get rid of the four. Because we could always switch to like numbers. And if we get a five crack, maybe we could even play the first consecutive run in one suit. That's a pretty hand. Oh, no keepers. Oh, okay. So I don't like passing two wins together. Let's see here. Two, three, four, three. Let's get rid of the three dot. Because we could still play a knitted hand with the three bam if we get a green dragon. Two, three, four. Let's see. That would be the second hand from the bottom. No keepers. But we have tiles we can pass. That's good. Let's see if everybody wants to... Yep, here we go. Okay, so for all those watching, write in the chat how you consider, what level player you consider yourself to be. Do we have new players? Or do we have, oh look, we got a flower and a green dragon. Let me know if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced player. I know that's a bit subjective, but... It might be interesting to find out. Let's pass the two bam. We're in between two, three, four Kong hand. That would be probably the third from the bottom under consecutive run or the knitted hand. We just picked up another multiple. I think we should probably play the knitted hand here. We can give up probably on the one suit hand. Let's see, two, three, four with threes in the middle. Let's give up the one crack. Beginner for almost a year, Susan. Okay. Um, Chris says she's intermediate. It is a bit subjective, isn't it? We have tiles we can pass. A seasoned beginner. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to say that about my Ricci play. I'm a seasoned beginner for Ricci. Carla says she's intermediate. Oh, yes, and Carla is a channel member. Do you see her little one bam icon? That means that she is a channel member. Thank you, Carla, for supporting the channel. And Chris is also a channel member. I love having that support. It's wonderful. And really, there are several ways you can support the channel. I wrote down a list under the video description. If you like the videos that I make, all there are all kinds of ways that you can support the channel. Just watching the videos, watching the commercials, clicking like, subscribe, share, all those ways to help the channel. But you could also help uh, make donations if you so choose. Not required at all, but greatly appreciated. Oh, I guess I better pass. There we go. So we're playing, probably playing the knitted hand. We still have tiles we can discard, so we're good. We probably have about five discards, so that uh, particular Charleston could have been better. Seven so I'm thinking we have no gaps for either hand. One character. Technically, we do not have to pick a, any hand yet, but I'd say we're in between the one suit Kong hand or the no, knitted no. hand, second from the bottom. Oh, Seven Susan. Characters. So, you know what? I'll have to check. Hold on one second. Maybe I can look. Three characters. Let me see. Pass. Okay. Oh, we got Joker bait. I'm going to hold that. Nine I'll hold that pair. No, no wins are out yet. 
Let's see here. Two dots. Okay, community. Seven characters. Pung. Huh. Eight dots. Okay, where's my, okay. Five dots. Okay, got the live Six stream back. Numbers. Okay, there's that five crack. Now that we got rid of the one crack, one isn't dot. that how it goes sometimes? Okay, Kathy says she's been playing for about a year, Seven really enjoy dots. the videos, and playing Siamese, maybe intermediate. Very good. North Siamese North. Mahjong will definitely take your game up a notch because you got to play two hands at one time. You'll get a Seven lot of bamboo. experience playing Siamese Mahjong. So now we have a two bam. We could even play the second hand down, two suit, Pung Seven Pung, Kong Kong. We could play that. Four dots. Welcome to the live stream if you've just joined Seven us. Bamboos. We're playing American style at Mahjong time. Six dots. Oh, speaking of Mahjong time, today I recorded helpful tips for Six playing at dots. Mahjong time. I think I have five videos right now and I'm hoping that it will help new players to the game because many people are uncomfortable with the interface and so I've shared Seven some bamboos. helpful tips. You'll have to let me know if it helps. Lynn says she's enjoying Siamese. When you go back to one rack it feels easy. Yeah, I agree actually. Okay, oh I'm gonna Kong it. Let's get rid of the south. Okay, we're gonna commit to the knitted hand so we can throw these away but we still could play the kong hand we still could play that one suit kong hand one character uh, hi judy just tuning in want to hear about one dog character. days oh my goodness it was so much fun now you may or may not know but i get very very nervous flying so i was a little anxious uh flying really it's taking off and then the turbulence and landing kind of make my stomach turn. I get really nervous. But it was um, great. There were no issues at all. Little teeny bit of turbulence, but I did just fine. And, um, it, and I even had layovers there and back. And I got to my gate both times with 15 minutes to spare. So <laughs> that was uh, kind of scary, but I made it. Two Don't you just hate running through the airport if you're late? Oh my goodness, talk about stress. So thankfully I was able to take a nice quick pace oh and I got there in plenty of time to relax for a few minutes before I had to board. So the flight there was great. And when I got there, we hit the ground oh running. Gosh. We started uh, Jamie and I, Jamie Throgmorton in, um, Carpinteria. Hmm. That's kind of hard to say. Carpinteria. Um, she helped me the whole way through. She coordinated the a lot of the events and where I needed to be and who I was staying with. And oh my gosh, it was. She just was an amazing um, handler. Let's just say. Have you ever seen that that show Chuck? Yeah, she was my handler. So she did an amazing job. I actually vlogged it and I have the video just about ready to upload. I'm hoping to upload it tonight. Um, so you can look forward to that. It'll be late. It'll probably be like 10 o'clock before I'm going to be able to upload it, but I should be able to release it tonight. If not tonight, tomorrow morning. So I hope that you will enjoy it. It's only nine minutes long, so it's a bit short. Um, Bamboos. But um, I was actually, oh, look, we got a keeper. Three characters. Um, on Saturday, so let's see, Friday was, or you know, we were organizing for the different events, and yeah. then we went out to lunch, and then that night I taught a few people how to play Hong Kong Mahjong. Then the next day was the tournament, and I got really sick. Um, I don't know what wow. happened, but I let's just say I got really sick and I had to go to the hospital and they gave me IV fluids and took x-rays and everything was fine but somehow I got some kind of a infection of some kind and I was sick really sick for that one day I made it to the tournament for the very last round 
So I was able to play a little bit but I was not at my best and then that night I just rested and I was fine really around noon the next day so uh, that's really good though because I had an event uh, 40 people were attending a skill builder where I was teaching some um, skill building exercises so yeah it was um, kind of kind of a challenge but I was fine after that, um, and then I I ate saltines that day. Okay, so I'm gonna pung that. Pung. We need an. We need. Oh, we're set. Bamboo. We're ready to win, actually. Um, but anyway, after you know, I ate saltines and I had Pedialyte that day, and I had a grilled cheese, half a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch, and, and I had a little tummy ache that night, but otherwise I was fine. And then the next day I felt great. So I got to go to the beach a couple times, and um, then we did a Ricci lesson, two Ricci lessons actually, and then um, let's see here, yeah, that that was pretty much it. I really really enjoyed myself, and I I hope that I captured some of the highlights in this video that I'll be releasing shortly. Nine dots. Uh, yes, I did travel alone, and um, my husband said next time maybe we need to go together, because it felt it felt a little uncomfortable being away from your spouse when you're in the hospital. So um, it was a little scary, but Jamie was with me the whole time, so she was a great friend for me on that trip. I don't know what I would have done without her. So it was, it was just fine. Everything was fine. And I feel, I feel fine One now. Bamboo. No, can, no problems at all right now. So Six thank you bamboo. for your concern. Everything's fine. Nine characters. Green dragon. Oh, there's a win. Mahjong. Mahjong. We got one. Oh my goodness. Maybe that's the end of my losing streak. Let's hope. Oh, that feels very nice. Okay, we're going to join another table right away. So consecutive run. That's the most flexible category on the card, I think. Yay, we got a win under our belt. It's always nice to win one time in a session, don't you think? It can be a little discouraging if you don't win at all. Oh yeah, I forgot. I played with Jamie's private group on Monday. That was a lot of fun too. They have a really big group. Let me see. I think they had six, seven or eight tables going. Maybe it was six. I can't remember. I was still not 100% at that particular moment, but it was so fun meeting everybody and everybody was so nice. And just very welcoming. I feel like I have, you know, 80 new friends in Santa Barbara now. Okay, let's see what we can focus on here. We've got lots of winds and dragons. Winds and dragons. Um, let's see here. Winds and dragons. East and west with green. North and south with red. Maybe we could play a wind hand. I think maybe we could even do something knitted. So I think I might save... The little odds. Let's give away. Oops. Let's see here. We could play news with dragon or news with dragons, but we have no wins. Let's see. Three five three five. We don't need all the three fives. We don't have any ones. Let's give up the two bam. Here we go. So uh, knitted. Knitted is when you have. Um, the you have for example the knitted hand is second from the bottom under consecutive run where you have two suits and every other set relates so the one three is one suit and then the two green or two dragon is a second suit so it kind of weaves in and in and out of the hand that's called knitted it's kind of a borrowed term from um, Western Mahjong, where they actually have real knitted hands, which are knitted chows. 
um, or it's kind of complicated, but um, I'm actually going to be doing some videos on it for Mahjong competition rules. So since we have the, the green dragons, I'm thinking we should maybe commit to little odds with dragons or wins with dragons, one or the other. Um, Judy says, really great to make all those new connections. Yes, uh, really nobody does for Mahjong what you bring to the table. Um, do you mean me or do you mean all players? Because really everybody has a story, don't they? That's one of the fun things about Mahjong. Everybody kind of has a story. Let's get rid of the three, I think. Oh, you know what? We could maybe even play like numbers with threes. Uh, Jane Peterson says, you live near Santa Barbara, but was so sorry to miss the event and missed meeting me. Oh, me, well, we hope to do it again. Uh, we were, you were on vacation to Washington State with your kids and their families. That's awesome. Family first. Where in Washington? I used to live in Tacoma. Look, we got a keeper, a three, and we do have tiles to pass. I think I'm going to give up on the wins at this point. I think we're between little odds or like numbers with threes. Hi, Marsha. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, okay, Jane says Forks in Washington. Okay, I'm not familiar with where that is. I don't like passing two wins. I'm just going to pass a 4-6, which is probably not that much more risky. If someone's playing two four six eight, that's not good. Okay, we got a four band, but we do have tiles we can pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand. Not yet. Not yet. Don't pick a hand till you run out of discards. That way you don't paint yourself into a corner. And I don't know if you've noticed, but have you ever played where you pick a hand and then not, you know, the next two passes and you're playing a totally different hand? That's why you don't pick a hand. You just pick a category. Okay, so now we have a consecutive run, one through five, no gaps. And we do have tiles to pass, but I really don't want to pass this because all this would be a super risky pass. I think I'm going to pass one blind because I do not want to pass a dragon with any of those tiles. I believe in defensive passing personally. We got a keeper. Very nice. I'll take it. Okay, now we need to pass. I think I will pass one blind again because we can still play two, three Kong hand with dragons. I think I'm going to, you know what? A nine, two is not bad. I'm going to pass three. Oh, wow. Lind, thank you for the super chat. That's fabulous. Thank you for everything you do for the Mahjong community. I live in the area of few players, so we only have four people who are self-taught by you and the videos. Oh my gosh, that gave me chills, literally. Thank you so much. That's so encouraging. And that's exactly why I took my lessons online, because I want to help more people. Since I moved north of Atlanta, I'm not as close to the, you know, the major communities. So, you know, it takes me a couple of hours to get where the players are so i thought why not put the videos up on up online and people can learn watching the videos i'm so glad that you're learning from the videos that is really excellent <laughs> okay so we have three multiples two three five so i think we may be able to commit to the one through five consecutive run hand or we could maybe even play the consecutive run pair hand and discard the joker. If we get a flower, I'll be tempted to play the pair hand. Green dragon. Let's see what happens. North wind. Six dots. If anybody has uh, not tried Mahjong Seven time, I do days. have some 30 day VIP codes. Seven and uh, for as long as they're available, Call just up. send me an email so I can reply with instructions. Four 
and a code so that you can come and play. It really is the best place. I think that one of the main reasons why I enjoy it so much is because they have more than just American style. They've got four or five other versions. So if you like to play different versions of Mahjong, this is the best place to play. Okay, we have a Joker available and it's a six. I'm hoping that they have more exposures with even numbers because I have a two four. Oh, Marsha, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. That's fabulous. You're so generous. Thank you very much. So she says, if you can't read that, um, you've helped me keep sharp and learn new styles. What's, have, I know you've been learning Richie. Did you learn Hong Kong style too? Oh, we got a joker. Okay, so I'm not playing the pair hand at this point. I think we're going to use the green dragons as a joker bait. And this hand is set. So I like to get rid of joker bait by the end of the third wall. So right about above where the green dragon is, that's when we need to get rid of those dragons. And there's actually one out, so it probably is not going to be... Oh, I need to get, I'm getting rid of that nine crack right now. This player to my left is playing three, six, nine in two suits. Okay, we're going to pung that. And then we just need to Kong and pung the four, five, and we'll be good to go. We need a one bam. There's one out. Oh, good. The reference sheets. Yes. Oh, we got the one bam. Okay, the reference sheets. Oh, how do you super chat? Do you see the little gray dollar uh, icon underneath where it says say something? If you click that, a little dialog box will open up with a scale so that you can give kind of like a tip. Um, have you ever been to like a piano bar and they have a tip jar? That's kind of what super chat is. It's like a one-time tip. Um, and it's, it's really helpful for people who have YouTube channels because all the work they do, of course, um, well, not all the work they do. I mean, some people monetize their channels, but some people also go on speaker tours and they are keynote speakers and they do panels and all that kind of stuff. But some YouTubers don't have any services or, or even products. And so um, the YouTube programmers added super chats so that people can give tips during live streams. So that's how that Seven works. Dots. So um, let's see, you're interested in the new Chinese style. Are you talking about Mahjong One competition character. rules, MCR? Seven characters. I am just Seven now uh, kind of studying that. I really yeah. studied it when I put together a new player reference because there are actually 80, Seven I believe 80 combinations um, or components for that particular style. Dots. We're ready to win, by the way, on a four bam or a five bam. There's one four bam out right now. I really hope I don't draw a nine crack. Oh, they got it. Oh, they had my five bam. That's a bummer. Okay, well, very nice. We got, we were ready to win. Okay, well, that was interesting and fun. Um, so MCR, I have a new player reference right here. See that? All those combinations, all those components, some stack, some don't. So you really um, need to study this one. But really, here, let's join another table. With MCR, the reason they designed these, this particular style is so that people could play in international tournaments. And no matter what style you play, you can find some kind of scoring element that is valid and be able to compete at uh, a tournament. So you don't have to know all the combinations, but the more you know, the more flexibility you have. Oh, Judy, thank you for the super chat. That is so nice. You've, you've all been so generous. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the support. So let's see what we can do here. We've got a lot of dots, five, six, seven, Two through seven, not going to be helpful. 
So I do see a lot of five, six, seven, eight. I think that's what I'm going to focus on. Either that or something consecutive run using the dragons maybe. Uh, we have to pick something. We'll get rid of the two. So I'm thinking six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight. Probably five, six, seven, eight is going to work. Anytime I play consecutive run, I pick four numbers in a range in mixed suits. There are only two hands that span five numbers. One is a one suit option. Clearly, we can't do that here. We've got gaps. And then the other one is a mixed suit option where you would do, for example, two, three, four in one suit in pairs and then five, six in Kongs in two suits. So that's all the other options are four numbers, up to four numbers in a range. So if you gather four numbers in a range, you will have lots of flexibility. So right now I'm just gathering all the tiles I can get for six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight. Probably the five can go next. Marcia says, yes, do you think you will offer for sale each one kind reference in a special coding? I would pay retail. Oh, you mean like, well, I print all, all the player references on, from my website are printed on cardstock. I used to print them. Let's see here. I think six, seven, nine. Six nine three six nine seven eight nine. We could maybe even play the nine nine eight pair hand. Um, I used to print it on um, uh, eighty pound cover stock, but card stock is is matte card stock is less expensive. So um, I could do kind of like a multi pack where it, I do one of each reference as a as a pack. Is that what you're asking, Marcia? And let's see, we've got a nine bam. So I'm thinking, oh, we have a six dot though, a pair of six dots. So let's see here, we need to make a choice because we really only have two tiles to pass. I really don't like passing white dragons. I treat them basically as flowers during the Charleston. So I'm thinking six, seven, we could still do six, seven. I, I think I'm gonna give up the nine for a safe pass. Um, okay, so let's see. So Marsha, can you confirm you would like to see where you can get a, a pack of one of each of the player references that I've created? Is that what you're saying? I see you said, yes, it is. So I'm assuming that's what you mean. I could certainly do that. So let's see, I have um, Hong Kong. I have um, three, or actually now three, four, American style ones and then I have let's see if you're talking about just the player references that would be Hong Kong Ricci and MCR is that what you're thinking like not include the skill builder stuff just the player references for scoring the Asian versions Christina, hi, welcome to the live stream and thank you for the super chat. I'm so glad the videos help you. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these six, seven. Let's focus on six, seven, eight, nine. Now I kind of wish I didn't throw that five dot. Oh, look at, <laughs> we got it back. Oh my gosh, that's encouraging. Okay, let's break these up over here. Let's focus on five through nine. We could maybe even play the five through nine pair hand. We have discards, so we don't have to pick a hand yet. Okay, we got Joker bait. And we do have tiles we can pass. Oh, they only want two. So let's pass six, eight. Instead of six, nine, I mean, it's six, one, half dozen, the other. So six, eight is not too bad. Okay, so I'll have to look and see um, for Hong Kong, Ricci, and MCR what, a, what that price would be. I don't recall nine because nine this eight. is printed on legal. It's a, a little bit you know, bigger Seven than the other ones. Um, so I don't remember. It should be up on my website, uh, maybe. 
I'm not sure if I'm selling that one yet though because I'm still learning that version myself and I'm kind of looking at a new, there's a new way of teaching Asian versions called the Tibet method. So I practiced it when I was in Santa Barbara and it, it had pretty good success. So I'm probably gonna incorporate the Tibet method into my lesson plan. So I'm gonna revamp my lesson kits for Hong Kong, Ricci and MCR. Susan, thank you for the live or the super chat. The super chat, thank you so much. Oh, I greatly appreciate all of your support, everybody. Thank you so much. It's so encouraging. Okay, so I'm thinking this pair hand's really coming in. Oh my goodness, we just got a pung of sevens. Okay, I don't think though at this point we can leverage that because we have three pairs, which makes up six tiles versus three sevens and we have no other tiles that we can use for those i think i'm gonna have to sacrifice the pung i think probably the pair hand is going to be the best hand to play at this point oh susan i'm so glad the videos have helped you i'm going to be trying some more strategy theory i want to focus on jokers i get a lot of players who play a pair hand for example and then they start drawing jokers and want to know when do i give up on a joke on a pair hand you know so i'm hoping to do some more strategy theory around jokers we'll see it's very you know situational so i have to record just the right game to really be able to drive any sort of examples home but i'm i'm going to hopefully be able to do that next weekend so in the next cycle there should be some i'm hoping i'll have some joker videos three dots eight characters okay five seven seven no i'm giving up the five bam there are no seven bams out let's hope somebody needs them because we could always switch to the one suit hand for five through nine, characters. the very first one under consecutive run. Six characters. Three characters. Oh, we got a keeper and it's part of a pair. Seven so we need nine dot. There are none out. We need a white dragon, none out. We need a flower, okay. none out. So we'll get rid of that seven bam. I don't know if you noticed, but nobody responded to that. Uh, so those are probably safe nine discards. Dots. Okay, so there just went a nine Seven dot. Bamboos. We need uh, a pair of those. Eight dots. We're good there. I'm not going to pung it because I want to try to play this pair hand. Since we have no jokers, Two why dots. not try for a pair hand? Don't be scared of One pair dot. hands. You can always revert back to an exposable hand Southwind. or a concealed hand elsewhere on the card like we could totally switch this to the One first dot. five through nine consecutive run hand if it happens to go dead Three but dot. we're only two away which is not bad and we really don't need that five for that particular Three plan bamboos. b either which is kind of nice it just kind of worked out that way Two dots. Two dots. Seven dots. No, don't be tempted. Oh, another five, bam. At least it's a safe discard. So I was um, listening to a live stream uh, a couple days ago, and they were talking about the longest live stream or the longest Seven video dots. on YouTube. Can you guess how long it is? I don't know the exact number, but I know kind of Eight an characters. estimate. Oh, we got a keeper, white dragon. Seven All we need is a flower dots. or a nine dot for the pair hand. Okay, so I won't keep you in suspense. The longest video on YouTube is over 500 hours long. I have no idea what it's about, who did it, or what the content is in there. Six and dots. not only that, but how long it must have taken for them to upload it. Oh my goodness. But 
it made me think about one of the things that we had talked about once before, and that is a uh, marathon, kind of like a 24-hour marathon for charity. So that's on my list. I'm gonna, per, I'm going to look into it and see if we could do Bamboo. some kind of a, a live stream where Bamboo. it's kind of a, um, uh, a co-op where we schedule mahjong players out. You know, like um, maybe four, two to four hours of pl gameplay over 24-hour period. Years and everybody would get sponsors and we could oh raise money God. for some great cause like American Cancer Thank Society or something like that. So anyway, it's just kind of a thought that's been going through my mind, especially after attending the fundraiser that, that I went to just this last weekend, Two they were able to far exceed what they anticipated and everybody was just so happy and excited. It, it was, it felt really good to be able to give to such a great cause. Kathy, thank you so much for the super chat. We don't need that white dragon. Love all your videos, have learned so much. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate that. Okay, Lynn, uh, let's see, throwing the east. We need a nine dot, there's one out. We need a flower, none have been discarded. That makes me wonder if someone's playing the double pung hand. Okay, so Lynn asks, do you avoid passing flowers in the Charleston because there are so many hands? Yes. And because there are double pungs, you know, where people need, uh-oh, we got a joker. So that will announce what we're doing probably. It's a little early to switch to defense throwing jokers at this point. But I'm going to discard it if I get a flower or a nine dot. Um, so, yeah, flowers, there are, uh, let's see here. I did an analysis if you search my YouTube Four channel, uh-oh, I'm going to stick with it. Joker. There are no flowers out and there's no nine dot out. If there were more out, I might have switched to the five through nine consecutive run Seven hand. Joker. But because these tiles are maybe still in the wall, I'm going to push it. Um, so anyway, if you search my channel, Maureen, thank you. Thank you for your super chat. Oh, my nosh videos. Oh my goodness. I miss doing those. I want to do those again. I need to find some time to do those. Thank you. Those are, I laugh at myself it's to the point of tears at times. Um, so anyway, if you go to my YouTube channel and you search for analysis, You'll find the new card analysis, and there are some statistics there. I mean, it's not, I'm, I'm no math whiz or anything, but I just did some comparison. And, uh-oh, we needed that nine dot. Now there's two out. We have two more picks. I do have a safe discard, though. Uh, seven crack, there's two out. That's safe. Um, so anyway, there's some analysis there, but there are pairs of flowers in every single category, and then there are double pungs. So I do, I try not to pass flowers at, during the Charleston. It is a rarity that I will pass a flower. If I know the hand I'm playing, I have no gaps and no discards, and I have to pass a flower. Oh, look, we're ready to win on a flower, and we have one more pick. One more, no, nope. Nobody's going to throw a flower at this stage of the game, but we got ready on a pair hand. One dot. Let's hope someone throws a flower. Do you think? Joker. No, no flower. So look, here's, here's what happens. Look, three flowers in the player. Look at this. Where are they all? Let's see. We'll click here. Three flowers. There's three more, six, seven in that player's hand there, and mine, eight. So that's why I don't like to pass flowers. Everybody wants them. Everybody was trying to use them. Everybody needed them. So that's why I don't like to pass flowers. But if I know what hand I'm playing and I'm ready or near ready, I'll risk it. It just really is very situational. It depends on how close you are to being set or maybe a ready hand. 
it's worth the risk then. If you can basically gauge it on your discards, if you have maybe two or discards, you might risk it because then only two more picks and you're ready to win. So, you know, you just have to keep all that in mind, really. Okay, this is a mess. Look at this. So you see no multiples. We got one joker, but no flowers. And we're kind of all over the place. We do have some 369 potential or consecutive run. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the little numbers except for except for uh, the threes because I'm thinking 369 maybe. Okay, so let's see what we got going in chat here. Elizabeth, the table is now blue. What happened to the green? So they made a few changes, um, a recent release and yeah, the table changed and then also the, the tile colors are no longer available. Like we have to have these wooden tiles now, which I, I like the dark green tiles, but it doesn't affect the function of the game. It's just more about look and feel. So uh, we need to whittle down these options here. I'm thinking five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, probably. So I'm going to give up the five. So we're going to do either three, six, nine or six, seven, eight, nine. That's, oh, look at what we got, eights and nines. Well, there's the ticket right there. Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, maybe even the nine, nine, eight pair hand. We have three tiles to pass. We don't have to pick a hand, not yet. Um, so let's see, Marsha says, what did you do so you can see each of the hands? Oh, okay. You click on the dialog box that shows their score and it will turn the table so you can better see their hand. We got a nine, seven. Now we need to pick a hand. Uh, let's see, we have nine, nine, eight, nine, eight, seven, eight, seven. I'm thinking we could maybe play the nine, nine, eight pair hand. Let's give up the seven bam. We're going to have to sacrifice a joker if we go for it though. We could also play like numbers with nines or like numbers with eights just as easily. We do now have two, uh, dragons. So we have to now pick a hand. This is when you pick a hand, when you run out of discards. We need to come up with another discard. So right now we have three, six, eight towards the pair hand, or we have one, two, three, four, five, six, or we have uh, to like numbers. Oh, let's, let's give up the seven because that could be a single for that pair hand. We can recover from that. You can recover from one tile during the pick and discard phase, or you might even get it back during the Charleston. Okay, so we picked up an eight, maybe like numbers with eights or eight, nine. Let's see here. We need to mm, eight, nine. Really, we're heavier in nines, though. We've got two pairs of nines, eight, nine, eight, nine. I'm going to give up the eight. Can't keep it all. That's unfortunate, but that's just the way those, pre oh, oh, like numbers. Oh, that just totally messes me up. Okay, let's play nines, and that way we can break up these fours. Let's see here. We've got nine, nine. We don't have any nine bams, which maybe the joker could be used for. So let's, let's go ahead and pass the green dragon and pass mixed suits. So I'm thinking the nine, nine like number hand of some kind, we don't have to pick which one yet, but we kind of had to destroy that nine, nine, eight pair hand. Oh, that was not good. Oh, we got a white dragon. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. Let's hold the eights. Maybe we can recover. All right. So I'm thinking consecutive run or. We could play eight, nine, Easy. something, eight, nine. Maybe even a quint if we get more Easy. jokers. That's a long shot, of course. But Easy. I always think about quints when I have multiples and a joker. Yeah, we don't need that, unfortunately. We can get rid of the two. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking this is looking pretty bleak at the moment. Let's see if we can recover. This kind of thing happens all the time, so it's really great practice. 
This is one reason why I really like to play mm -hmm. online. It does improve your game. If you play in a group live, Dance. playing online is very helpful. Dance. Okay, so we just got a flower. Now, the nine like number pair hand with uh, flowers, we have a pair of dragons that we can't use because we have the wrong nine. We needed the nine bam. So we'll see what happens. It could be good joker bait. Now we have an eight bam. So at this point, we can use the nines as maybe joker bait and hold the eights. Okay, we're going to pass. I'm not going to claim that. I do not claim a discard for a Kong if I don't know what hand I'm playing. And I do not know what hand I'm playing yet. Look at these eights and nines. Okay, I'm going to check White chat. Dragon. Yep, we're going to pass on that. That may be just discards at this point. Uh, let's Seven see. Bamboos. Close like numbers, maybe. Probably. Eights with dragons, maybe. Three if we can get the other eight, we do have one joker, and the nines could one be joker bait, bait maybe. Uh, let's see. Thank you for not do... Nine let's see. Bamboo. Do you create Mahjong time? Oh, okay. So D asked, did I create Mahjong time? No. I am just a player, Green just like American. you. Just like anybody else, I'm a player. I pay for my membership. Yeah. I buy chips. Um, I, I don't get anything yeah. free in that sense. I do get VIP coupon codes that I'm able to share with my subscribers from YouTube. Uh, Slava generously gives me batches of codes that I can give out for people to come and try Mahjong Time. Uh, I'm what's called an affiliate, which is kind of like um, a, a partner. You, you get like a commission when people sign up. For memberships, you get kind of a commission. Um, so I, I do get a little bit of a benefit Two there dots. from Mahjong Time, which I am very grateful for. Thank you, Slava. They're really great to work with, and they're very uh, responsive. And again, as I was sharing earlier, the reason why I like it so Ooh, much is because of all the different styles. Because I like to play Ooh, yeah. Hong Kong, Ricci, American, and now MCR. Six so... Dots. I can play all four styles in one, one place, and I would leverage my my account there, so I don't have to have a bunch of different accounts all over, and I, I don't have to get to know West totally West. different communities. Here I can just get to know the community here, which is wonderful. Three so uh, hi Josephine, welcome, Two and Elizabeth, members. welcome to the live stream. Josephine is a channel member. Do you see her her little birdie bam icon? That means she's a channel member. Four I made a uh, little, I, I got some screenshots oh. of uh, Mahjong tiles and those are the oh. little badges that channel members get so that we can recognize them oh. in, in live streams. So thank you for supporting the channel, Josephine, as always. Oh, bummer. Oh, 369. I was hoping they were playing 369. I wanted to use those jokers for my nines. Oh, well. Sometimes it's nice to have joker bait, but in this case, it didn't pan out. Let's see if we can join another table. Okay, Elizabeth is asking, did the Siamese version start yet? I don't know. Let me go look. You just go to SiamesMahjong.com. Let's go see. We're waiting for a table right now. Let's see here. Let's hop, let's hop over here. Siamese Mahjong. I know it's in development. I don't know if it's live yet. Okay, play Siamese Mahjong on the web. Coming soon, not ready yet. So they must be perfecting it because I did try it out during its development stages and it was really fun. It was really fun and it felt just like this, but you actually play on racks. So I, they must be perfecting it. Okay, so we have a pair of E's. I'm going to hold those for just a minute. Um, we do have dragons. If I'm holding wins, I might as well keep the dragons. Maybe we could play a year hand and leverage this white dragon here. So let's go ahead and try to pass one of each suit safely. 
Let's pass those three. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Carol says, oh, you love my patience and my passion. Oh, thank you. I inherited it from my mom. She, she was a great uh, teacher, player. She raised six kids. My dad was in the Air Force, so she, you know, during the day, it was just us and my mom. So she took care of all. Oh, I almost passed a tile I needed. Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, we'll pass those three. So, uh, you know, and since I'm number two of six kids, I think I learned how to parent at an early age. And maybe, maybe that taught me a little bit of patience. I don't know. But I'm human and I do uh, have weaknesses and sometimes I do lose my patience, especially if I'm tired. If I get tired or overdo it, I, I can become oversensitive. So yeah, that's my weakness. I'm an emotional person. I can get a bit emotional at times. So, oh look, we got a keeper. I think we should play the year hand with wins. So we actually are at a place where we have to make a choice the red dragon is not a bad discard with these so i'm going to go ahead and throw that but i think we should probably commit to the news year hand okay so let's see chris says she's got to leave for the night all right well thank you for coming by and thank you again for your support of the channel it's so good to see you in the live stream we'll see you in the repost have a good night Okay, so we got it east, west, east and west. We do have two, six, eight. We have a gap of a no four bam. So I don't think switching to anything with the evens is going to be good. If nothing else, we could maybe do evens with east and west, east and west, west with twos maybe. But that would require breaking up my 2018 option. I think I'm going to go ahead and give up one of the wins. I think we're strongest with the 2018 year hand and we got a keeper. We just got a keeper, the South. So let's give up the West, two nine West. I like passing nines and twos together. There's only one way to use those and that is with the addition category, with the mixed suit option in that case. That's one hand out of 51 or what have you, however many hands there are on that card. I forget. I think it's 51 or something like that. Maybe 52 this year. So we're playing the news year hand and we had to pick a hand early. And I do think that this year, I feel like I've had to pick hands much earlier than previous years. Does anybody else get that feeling? I usually try to wait. I don't like picking a hand until after the Charleston, but just because of the way the combinations are laid out, you kind of have to pick a hand sometimes early so uh, I don't like making a habit of that though. Oh yeah, with Siamese Mahjong, I, uh, I talked to, or I had a chat with Gladys and I asked her about doing some live, live streams for Siamese Mahjong when it releases and she approved. So I don't know how I'm gonna fit everything in uh, but I'm really hoping to do live streams of Siamese Mahjong because the strategy with Siamese Mahjong is complete. Well, it's not completely different, but it is a bit different. When you declare a winning hand, that's really the, what, what you need to practice. Uh, when to expose a winning hand. Um, yeah, that's kind of the, the main skill to master I think with Siamese Mahjong because it can be very lucrative to have a double Mahjong if you don't know about Siamese Mahjong yet you can look in my YouTube channel I've got lots of videos on exercises and a lesson plan that can teach you how to play that version okay so we have three discards anytime I have four discards or less I say that was a successful Charleston so yeah we had a good Charleston for this one Oh, we got a keeper, Red two discards. Red. So look at that. We have Red a keeper. Characters. We could maybe even do this pure. No jokers. Nine dots. We'll see. We have two discards. 
Um, yep. Yeah. So Elizabeth, okay. uh, Elizabeth agrees. You tend to have to commit early. Yeah. Seven I don't like committing days. early. I like being flexible. I like to stay at the category level as long as possible. Five characters. Oh, look at this. We've got two new channel members. Eight oh my gosh. That's amazing. So, uh, let's see, Judy Smith and Terry Apple, welcome to the channel member family. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Oh, my husband's going to be thrilled. He's really surprised that this YouTube channel has taken off. He's pleasantly surprised. Let me just say that. So, thank you for your support. I truly appreciate it. One bamboo. So let's see, we're gonna pass on that. This is a concealed hand. Now, Terry, Terry Apple, I tried to find you on Facebook. Um, oop, oop, we got, a, we got a joker. I tried to find you on Facebook and I, I think you sent me a direct email. Uh, my email, by the way, is below every video if you ever wanna send me a direct email. And I now have a PO box, so that'll be under new videos. So uh, we can maybe do mail calls. I've gotten you. some cards and a couple little, um, you know, um, nice things from oh, viewers. And so I might add a mail call to channel updates, which will be really fun. Yes. I just love the community we're building together. It, it's just a sweet community. Let's see, Lynn says, uh, as an advanced player, I try not to keep playing uh, to, to a pair hand very far into the third wall. Is that too timid? Uh, it depends on how many tiles have been discarded for that pair hand. I hold on to a pair hand, but again, it just depends on how many of my tiles have been discarded. So I think it's very situational. It's really hard to say. I try not to have cut and dry, uh, you know, um, how, how do you say, um, I try to be flexible with my guidelines. So I lay out guidelines for myself, which are what all those handouts that I make when I do lessons, those are all guidelines. And because the game is very situational, um, you just have to really scout the discards, scout the exposures, see how many picks you have left and what you need because depending on what you see going on at the table can drive your decision. Okay, we're ready to win. We need a white dragon or a one bam to win. And there's only one white bam out and it's very early in the game. We are still, well, we're probably heading right into the middle game at this point. All right, we're, we're needing a one bam or a white dragon. We're playing the concealed news year hand right now. Um, so let's see here, Terry, you are out there, but not very active. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Very good. I think it, maybe it was about a Mahjong set or something. I think it was in, was it in response to my vintage set? Maybe, um, did everybody see the, the unboxing for my vintage Mahjong set? That's going to be my Wright Patterson Mahjong set. I love it. It's just beautiful. Nine characters. We are ready. Seven Let's see. Dots. We need a one bam or a white Three dragon. Dots. I had to remind myself. Oh yeah, Elizabeth. It, it's a newer Three video. Dots. I think I I think I published it two days ago. Um, just look up unboxing. A day in the life of a mahjong player. Unboxing. And uh, yeah. Seven dots. Oh look, we got another win. Oh my goodness, maybe that losing streak is over. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you what. I, I lo I've been losing like weeks and weeks on end, seriously. When I was in Santa Barbara, I played at uh, their private game and I won one game. It was a quint. It felt so good. <laughs> I saved face by winning one game. Oh my gosh. I was almost pie. I'm serious. I almost went pie. Talk about embarrassing. All right, let me see here. Uh, we're gonna play again. We could play maybe four more games. Let's see, Lynn says, I loved your new set and enthusiasm. Oh, it made me so happy too. It brought back so many memories of my mom and her set. She had, 
I don't think she had a vintage set, but she had vintage racks and a vintage case, but I think the tiles were new. I think my sisters have it. The next time I go to Colorado Springs, I'm going to have to look at it and see if it's vintage. I think it might be from the 70s, but this set that I have, uh, that I just purchased, was uh, from 1956. And it, it's in pristine condition, really nice condition. Oh, Susan, yes, it's painful. Losing can be really painful and very discouraging. I feel that pain, I'm telling you. So I'm very encouraged right now. So here, look, we have a lot of wins. I'm thinking we could play uh, maybe the news year hand again, or maybe something consecutive, the news consecutive pair hand. Let's pass these three here, one of each suit. Marsha became a channel member. Welcome to the channel member family. Thank you for your support as always. Marsha has always been very supportive. She's uh, one of those um, people who I attached to early on in launching my channel and has given me lots of really great advice. So she's been a supporter of my channel for from the beginning. So welcome to the family. That's fabulous. Okay, let's see here. I think we need to give up on something. I think we could stick with maybe the news year hand. We're probably closest to that again. It's kind of strange playing the same hand again. I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, Elizabeth is asking what is a channel member. This is a new feature that has been made available to YouTubers. And basically it allows for viewers to support YouTubers, the YouTube creators monetarily. So if you sign up as a channel member, you you uh, offer to pay $4.99 a month just to show appreciation for the content. And I believe you could stop it at any time. There's no, um, you know, obligation to commit. So it's a monthly thing. You just give as you can or on a monthly basis until you're no longer able. And I, of course, would appreciate any of the support that I get from any of you. Even just watching my channel, that benefits the channel. Anytime you watch the videos, listen to the commercials, give me thumbs up, all those things help the channel. It basically heightens visibility for the channel and then more and more people can find you. It's kind of like a snowball effect, really. So I think we're heavy into news. I'm thinking we should try for maybe the news, year, uh, the news consecutive run pair hand. I really don't know if I wanna pass this though. Look at that. News consecutive run pair hand or the news concealed hand. I'm gonna take a little risk here because we're gonna play either a concealed hand or a pair hand. So I hope that helped with your question, Elizabeth. There are some information under the video for different ways that you can support my channel. So if, if you wanna do that, you know, I, I would welcome you with open arms, but it's nobody, please nobody ever feel obligated to do so. Um, it's just, I've been asked by several uh, viewers how they can help me, and this is one way that, um, that viewers can help support the channel. So we can pass these twos. Oh, shoot, we gotta pass a white dragon. This is when I would pass a white dragon, when I have to. This is a rarity, but because we're maybe playing a pair hand, I'm gonna risk it. So we're in between the news pair hand or the news concealed hand, and we have tiles to pass. So I'm hoping they, whoever got that pass didn't need white dragons. Okay, here we go. So we have no gaps with the news concealed hand. So I think we're stronger there. I'm gonna weigh that heavier than the news consecutive run pair hand because we have a gap. We have no three bam. So we do have discards though right here. We've got, Seven. yeah, we have a lot. We have four discards, which is not too bad. Seven dots. And if we actually get the three bam, we might be able to play the news consecutive run pair hand. 
Four dots. We got a gap though, so I don't know what's going to happen there. We'll see. One character. I wouldn't mind playing a pair hand. Five characters. So we need a three Five bam dots. and a one bam, and then we need to, of course, pair up the west and south. One character. One thing that I find interesting at the moment is there are no wins out yet. One dot. And that's concerning because they're probably over here either in the wall or in these players hands someone might be in a pair in a in a year or in a wind hand maybe so we'll see what happens here seven dots three characters oh oh look at now we have a two, three, four. Two dots. So we're in between two, three, four and one, two, three. Here we have no gaps. So I'm thinking that's the one I'm going to go with. I'm going to get rid of the one bam. And that way I can hold the two bams for joker bait in case we switch to the new concealed hand. In which case we can use any jokers we may come across. So we're still in between the new consecutive run pair hand and the new concealed hand. Okay, let's see. Judy, have you ever met Kat Hartman? The name sounds familiar. I think I might have seen her on Facebook. Um, but I don't know. Is she in the Atlanta area? Judy's asking if I've ever met Kat Hartman. Look at that birdie bam next to your name, Judy. You're a birdie bam. Six characters. She's in Virginia. I probably have not met her then. But I may have chatted with her on um, on Facebook. Does she have the channel that's um, um, Asian, Asian art and literature and whatnots Facebook group? The one, um, Frances Cat Hartman, is that her? Catherine Hartman. I think I think I've chatted I think I've chatted with her on Facebook. I believe she's the gal who runs Yep, okay. Uh okay, yep. I, I haven't met her, but I've chatted with her and, and have exchanged posts on Facebook. I think I got permission from her to use some photos. Let's see here. I think I got permission to use photos for something from her. She was very nice. But I don't remember what it was for now that I, yeah, I don't remember. Hmm. But, you know, the, the Mahjong community, I would say for the most part, like 95% of the Mahjong community on Facebook and even in, in this channel or this uh, Mahjong Time community are all very nice people. I, I've never had an, a bad experience to date. And I've only ever had one hater on my YouTube channel. One so character. we have a really, really nice, healthy community here. Eight characters. Oh, we got we got a keeper. Okay, I'm gonna give up the set the two bam. Two bam. Okay, bam. now we have news. We we have a West to pair up. We can still maybe play the pair Eight hand, bam. but I'm thinking the consecutive run, the consecutive run news hand is probably most likely at this point. Uh, let's see, Lynn, are you trying for the last year hand or first single and pair hand? I'm in between. Okay, now we've got a joker. This is when I give up on the pair hand. Yeah, I was in between the cons the news consecutive run pair hand, the where you need one, um, you need three consecutive pairs, the very first one under singles and pairs. I was in between that and then the news concealed hand under the wind and dragon category. So since we've got a pair of flowers and we also have a joker, I'm probably going to give up on the pair hand. Six dots. Elizabeth says she's never met a mean Mahjong player. Have you played in a tournament yet? I mean, I wouldn't say they're mean, but they're definitely uh, more aggressive than your casual games. I've found that anyway. I mean, they're not necessarily mean. They're just a little more aggressive. Okay, there are three one cracks out. That was a good discard. One character. Yeah, um, it really, 
players who are more competitive tend to be aggressive and it kind of comes out in their personality too and a lot of competitive people play in tournaments so that's where you might see a bit of aggressive play really we're gonna get rid of that yeah there are there's two two cracks out one three crack two four cracks so I probably at this point we're in the end game I'm gonna discard the tiles that have that are uh, risky like this three crack I'm gonna get rid of first when I'm in the end game oh somebody won uh two four six eight hand that's a fun hand to play right there okay kudos all right so Marsha you were asking how to see other people's hands so you just click see how you can see Carol here she took fourth place which I really don't get when you play at Mar uh, American style we're all in let you know last place there's one winner everyone is in equal standing after that but you just click on there um that little placard and that way it turns the table so you can see their hand they were playing oh they were ready on a pure hand seven crack oh man there were none out she would have had a pure hand that would have been very nice okay and then we'll click on Cinny. so let's click on Cinny. that's a fun name and she was playing um uh i don't know i i'm not sure what they were doing they might have switched their hand i don't know they might have switched to defense because they might have been trying a knitted hand but i think uh, maybe they were trying at first for the one three five pair hand perhaps but with the pung of seven bams i'm not sure what they were trying for but they have a green belt so they got to know what they're doing i don't know what they were trying to do and then of course this player right here hop toy they were trying for the news pair hand but it didn't come through so they had to switch to the news concealed hand and had three discards going into the end game oh well okay here we go we're gonna go to the next game okay let's see um maureen asks how do they choose first second third and fourth okay so for american style i think that at some point it's arbitrary but first place is the winner of course and then do they compare memberships because there's a rake i don't know if you know what a rake is but it's a poker term and at mahjong time when you sign up for a membership there you could play for free you could have a premium membership or a vip membership the rake is a percentage of the pot and the and the pot is a total of the entry fees paid by the players so when you join a table you pay, pay an entry fee and then the prize pool is awarded to the winner well if you are a free player mahjong time keeps 20 percent if you win that pot if you are a premium member mahjong time keeps five percent of that pot and you get 95% of it. If you're a VIP member, you get 100% of the pot. That's one of the benefits of being a VIP member. So uh, let's see here. Oh, Jane says she lost the live stream. I see a green health. So you might have had maybe an internet problem, perhaps. Uh, let me just check on. Oh, let's join this table here. Let me check on the chat here. So um, the so i think the first second third and fourth is based on membership because it affects the number of um i don't know i think it's attributed to the rake that applies to your membership so if i'm the only vip member then i'm going to take second place but really it doesn't matter it, it's just it's arbitrary because the only thing that matters is the winner because they're the only ones who get the points so you know try not to be offended if you get fourth place it doesn't matter for American style for uh, Ricci it does matter because at the end of a game being in fourth place is not good you get a Uma, Uma penalty you get hit with a penalty if you're in fourth place trust me I've been there many times because I'm still learning okay now we have a pair of fives 
a pair of eights and a pair of nines and a pair of norths. Okay, so this will be a really good one to share about because it's a mess. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on maybe the news consecutive pair hands. Since we have no jokers, I always like to consider pair hands. Let's pass these three right here. I'm going to keep the five bams as joker bait most likely um, because... I may be able to play something with the eight, nine crack. There's a five. So if we get a seven crack, we could play the five through nine, one suit. We can probably get rid of these three without too much trouble. Okay, so Kathy is asking about the belt system. There's a FAQ on the Mahjong Time website for the belt system. I'll try to remember to put a link to that in the video description after the live stream, but it's based on the martial arts hierarchy. So you start out with a white belt and then you get, when you, after you play a marathon, you get a green and you win, you get a green stripe and then, oh, we got a wind. Okay. So let's see if we can make a pair hand work. Let's get rid of the five crack. Let's focus on eight, nine consecutive run or news consecutive run hand if we can get a seven crack okay we just got a seven crack and a keeper an east so this new our news pair hand is coming in right here news pair hand we have a gap though there's no west i'm gonna play it out though let's see if we can get a west okay so let's see the belts white belt with a green stripe after you win a marathon then you can play at most tables you really need to have a white belt with a green stripe the only game you can play as a new player a free player you have to play in a marathon and win in order to gain that green stripe and then you can play at any other table there are uh, features in here that allow players to create their own tables and invite friends or even make um, thresholds so that only advanced players can play. Although that really is not hard or, or that's kind of hard to identify because just because somebody's a black belt doesn't mean that they're an advanced player or just because someone is a white belt doesn't mean that they're a beginner. Um, for example, I consider myself to be an advanced player, but I'm just a brown belt, a brown belt with two, two black stripes so I'm almost a black belt I'm one level to black belt but basically as you win you gather points and those points take you up to the different belts so from a, from a, any color you have one stripe and then two stripes and then you go to the next color and then the colors are we got an oh we're we're pairing up here okay so now we have to make a choice news let's give up the eight crack i think no 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 let's give up the north no oh let's give up the eight it's arbitrary really at this point no wait oh my gosh i'm vacillating let's give up the north because i don't want to pass like numbers okay there was a little decision making for you <laughs> that was a mess um so yeah that's kind of what goes on in my head look what we just got a pair for goodness sake Passing a pair. All right, two tiles. You can have two tiles. Okay, so that was the player on my left who gave me a pair. I hope that doesn't mean they're zeroing in on a hand. That would be the only way I would pass a pair is if I were ready on like a pair hand or something. But anyway, the colors of the belts go white, green, brown, black. Four levels. Okay, we're going to get rid of the five bam. Okay, so I hope that helped. Uh, let me see, Kathy. I hope that helped. Let's see. Uh, Elizabeth asks, is it real money? Are you talking about the dragon, the dragon coins? The dragon coins are not real money. It's, that's the in-game currency. So we got a, a flower. I'm thinking that we're in between the news pair hand probably this eight can go away oh we could maybe even play the consecutive run we can maybe even play the consecutive run kong hand we're in between okay we're gonna switch now that we have two pungs that weighs heavier than pairs so i'm gonna switch to the seven eight nine kong hand and we have two pair of joker bait in the wins 
Um, so dragon coins is not real money. That's in-game currency, although you can purchase dragon chips so that you can play whenever you want. Uh, when I play, I, I play with, uh, I buy chips in increments of 50,000 chips, and that's like $25. So I don't know about bamboo. quarterly or maybe every four months or so for four or five months. I mean, it depends on my losing bamboo. streaks really, because every time you lose, you lose those dragon coins and you have to have dragon coins bamboo. to play. So I buy coins so that I can bamboo. not worry about whether or not I have dragon coins. It's just peace of mind. Bamboo. I can play whenever I want. And I don't have to worry about it. And we just budget that in to our entertainment budget. Between my subscription and Dragon Coins, that's part of our entertainment One budget. Dragon. So uh, let's see. So the Dragon Coins are like points. Yeah, I guess you could consider the Dragon Coins like points. But, you know, they kind of make it look like um, kind of like poker table you sit at a table they there are poker chips um visuals in the game so it just feels a lot more kind of like poker so you know there's a little bit of a theme there so they call them chips you know mahjong is a gambling game how you know so it makes sense to me so this three crack kong there is a joker available there we can kong the eight nine and we have a red dragon now so if we pair that up we could play the eight nine dragon kong hand so we're still in between but we switched from a pair hand to wins and dragons and now we're over at consecutive run this is why i don't like to pick a hand because if you stay at the category level you can stay flexible and then whittle down once you get those deciding tiles Okay, let's see. Marie now still can't put the nice discard. Wait. Oh, Kong. We want to Kong that. Kong. Okay, discard the East. Okay, now, Marine. Still can't get the, that nice discard lineup like you have. Maybe I need to be a VIP user. No, you can do it. I'll show you how. So after my next pick, I'll show you how to do it. It's a setting. It's in game settings. I like it this way too instead of random so let me show you 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 when you're if you're in a game you move your cursor to the top of the screen and it'll drop down a menu bar over to the right let me move my uh, let's see here oh wait a minute oh hold, hold on a second I got all kinds of stuff going on let me minimize let me move over there we go okay now you can see if you put your mouse towards the top of the screen the okay i'm gonna discard the east you see this menu bar that dropped down here you click the cog you see the cog here you click the cog to open up your options your settings you click game settings and deselect auto arrange or no wait random discards there it is right there you d oh no oh my goodness north oh ho, ho. okay so you deselect random discards and then it'll line them up like this okay let me get my chat back up okay you have to be in the game no oh wait oh i have to be in a game no 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 you don't that's just one way to do it when we get done with this game i will show you how you can do it outside the game because you have access to those settings outside the game too so um i'll show you in a few minutes okay so we got our eight crack we need a seven crack there are two out i'm thinking oh there's two red dragons out we need jokers yeah, we need jokers. We're heading into the end game. This may be defense. This hand may be defense. Oh, we got a keeper. So we need two jokers, though, and a flower. <laughs> We're behind the curveball this time. And I get these mixed up. Are we behind the eight ball, or are we behind a curveball, or have we been thrown a curveball? I think we're behind an eight ball, and we've been thrown a curveball. I think that's how it works. East wind. We're going to throw that white. 
Okay, so this player here to my left, they need a nine bam. And the player across, they need a nine bam. Okay, it's a battle for the nine bam. There's one out. I hope I don't draw it. I might have to switch to defense. Oh, look at we got the red. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'll just pick whichever one. They're equally risky at this point. Really? Okay, let's see. Someone is asking, um, Josephine, if you're a VIP member, you also get 5,000 coins a day. Yes. Yep, you do get 5,000 coins. They, they, if you lose 1,000 coins, you get, you get another 1,000 in increments of 1,000 up to 5,000 coins a day. So if, if there, are, there are four games for every 1,000, that's a lot of Mahjong. I think that's why a lot of people like the VIP memberships. Let's see here. Uh, Elizabeth dots. asks, if you don't play every day, do the coins add up? Three dots. I believe they do. Three That's a really good question. I'm gonna, I, I need to ask that because I've, honestly, I've never really paid attention. I just basically Three dots. Uh, pay for coins and play when I want. And I, but that's a really good question. Let me let me see if I can. One let's see character. if I can ping Slava. Two dots. Let's see here. Eight Maybe I dots. should Google it instead of bothering him. Let's Google it. Google One is your friend. Dragon. Okay. Mahjong time. Nine dots. Dragon chips. Oh bummer. Yeah, you know what? That that was a long shot because we needed two jokers and a flower. Oh, they had sixes, not nines. So well, that worked out nice for them. So very good. This player needed nine bams. And then this player over here. Oh, it's Marsha. Marsha. Oh, she was ready. Oh, bummer. Let's see. Wait, no, she wasn't ready. She was in between the first two, four, six, eight hand or the second one in between. She had flowers as joker bait, it looks like. It looks like she was maybe, oh, she was gonna try for the pair hand. That's what she was playing. The two, four, six, eight pair hand. I must be getting tired. Okay, so let me just see. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask, I, I'm gonna look on Mahjong Time FAQ and see if I can find out that question for you. Let's see, dragon coin. Okay, what are dragon chips? Here we go. Uh, dragon chips. All players receive dragon chips daily. Premium members. You can, oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say if they accrue, so I'm going to ask. I'm going to ping Slava. Let's see if we can get him. I think he's in California, so it's early there. Okay. Okay, I just asked him. We'll see what he says. All right, now, I think somebody else asked a question. Let's see. Oh, you get 5,000 per day as needed and it stops there. That makes sense. Uh, how much does each game cost? Well, let me exit and I'll show you. So each game has a different entry fee and you will look in this column right here, third from the uh, right, it's called entry fee. So most of them are 500. There, there's one that's 250, and then the marathons or the multi-game uh, tables, those are 1,000 or 1,500. So you always want to make sure you have enough dragon coins. But you can see over here, I have 42,000 dragon coins because I bought them. I just paid $25 and I got 50,000 dragon coins. So I don't have to worry about it. But if you want to do this on a budget, then by in, by all means, just be a member. Even if play for free, just play two hands a day or win. Because if you win, you get more coins. So that's how it works. 
Okay, so let's see here. Um, also, let me let me show you, Maureen, how to. Um, let's see here. Here's how to change. Here's how to change the layout from the lobby. This is the lobby when you're when you're at where all the tables are listed. If you click the cog in the upper right corner, it'll open game settings then or your account settings and then you go to game settings and deselect random discards that's how the tiles line up so that's where you make all your customizations all right so let's see if there's any other chats that i need to catch up on here uh, josephine says you don't pay per game you have a monthly membership well yeah so the games you you anti or you end you when you join a table you you contribute an entry fee with dragon chips but you do have the opportunity to either be a free member at mahjong time or you could be a premium member for 4.99 per month or you can be a vip member for 7.99 per month so those are the different options. And if you go to the very bottom of the Mahjong Time website, let me just go there real quick since we're waiting for a table. If you go to the Mahjong Time website and scroll to the very bottom, this is actually in my new video playlist that I'm gonna publish this week. Down here, Mahjong Time membership in the fine print menu. If you click that, you can see it explains all that. So here are the different membership options. You can see there's a free one, there's a premium, and then there's the VIP. So that's on their website. Just, um, I'll try to remember to put a link to that under the video for you. So let's see, what do we have now? Um, if you don't play every day, do the coins add up? No, I, I don't think so. I think Marsha is right. I believe that it is as needed. So if you are a premium member, you can have 1,000 coins replenished incrementally up to 3,000 coins per day. So if you lose 1,000 coins, then you'll be replenished 1,000. If you lose that thousand, you'll be replenished another thousand. If you lose that thousand, then you'll need to wait another day to get your new 1000 and increment from there up to 3000 again and just cycle daily. So it, I, I believe it does stop. Uh, let's see here. You get 5,000 per day for VIP for premium. It's 3000 and for free, it's 1000. All right, let's see, we have, uh, Shirley says, uh, I think you have to be at zero balance. I think so too. I think I was incorrect. It does not accrue. Um, okay, yeah, I think everyone's pretty much got it. They do not accrue. Okay, thank you, Mary. Okay, uh, let's see, is this Mahjong on this channel different from Ricci. Oh, absolutely. I'm playing American style tonight. So I do play Ricci Mahjong though. I play Ricci Mahjong live streams on the fourth Sunday of the month, same time. So uh, let's see here. This is the third. So next Sunday, uh, let's see, wait. One, two, three, four. So next Sunday, I'll be playing Ricci Mahjong and I'll be prepared to get my fanny kicked because I'm still, I'm a seasoned beginner. I'm kind of edging into intermediate maybe. I basically know all the Yaku. I know the mechanics of the game. I'm learning about complex weights and um, I need to focus on, I have a, a cheat sheet up to remind me. I'm focused on Ricci judgment. You know, like if, if I have Ricci opponents, when to fold, when to push. And then I'm also focused on tile efficiency. So I, I, I'm not pushing myself to advance per se. I'm really just trying to focus on improving my, my skill of the game. That's where I'm at with Richie Mahjong. Um, it's, it's very complex and sophisticated. If anybody's interested, I have a lot of videos on Richie Mahjong. Uh, let's see here. 
Um, do you have to play in tournaments to advance your rank? No, you do not. You can play in regular games. I don't think that you get any additional benefit from playing in tournaments. I may be wrong. I'll watch this repost and make a note of it and ask Slava about that. Uh, let's see here. Yep, Elizabeth, you can get in about 20 games and or more if you win because you do win dragon coins which can extend your ability to play and your winnings do accrue of that I am sure. Uh, let's see here, Judy um, commented. Thank you for, your, uh, for answering. I appreciate the support in chat. Let's see. Uh, hi, Susie Epstein. Oh, hey, yeah, she just got a brand new uh, access to Mahjong Time, 30-day VIP member. I hope you dive in, Susie, and have a good time. Elizabeth says, you're thinking it takes a while to just figure out how to navigate the game on the computer. I just did videos today sharing my tips on uh, how to... Uh, quickly learn the interface and actually Mahjong Time does have a YouTube channel with videos that do kind of walk you through some of that and there should be uh, let me see here well I'll provide links when I upload this playlist and I hope to do that this week uh, let's see Shirley says when you play in Mahjong Marathon for the guild you only get credit for the win yes yeah um, you do not get docked points for throwing a winning tile let's say if when you're in the guild which i have not been able to play because of my traveling and and my filming cycle so for all my guildies i'm very sorry i have not been able to play at all lately i hope to get back into schedule very soon um i have a couple of videos to uh, get together the uh mahjong this uh mahjong helpful helpful tips for mahjong time players i want to get that up this week and then i want to uh, upload my santa barbara video as well so i'm hoping i'll be able to play some guild games this week let's see here shirley says we know you have been very busy oh yes yes i have been but it's been a labor of love i love doing it i really do i i get just as much enjoyment probably as you do I mean, and I even enjoy watching my own videos. It's so funny though, because when I watch the videos, I laugh at myself. It's almost like I'm watching somebody else. So it's very bizarre, but I, I tend to really laugh at myself sometimes to tears. And you guys don't see my outtakes, which sometimes can be hilarious. And I am gonna be doing a blooper reel. I am saving my bloopers. So that's something that I hope to do um, as kind of an annual fun video at the end of every year kind of a maybe a new year's e new year's eve release let's say so uh okay well let's join this table here it looks like we can maybe get in one more game so this this will probably be the last game oh shoot missed opportunity bummer all right we'll start a new table that's all right Let's do this one right here. All right, does anybody have any more questions? Let's see, Judy says, can the gaming network handle open mics? The gaming network hope handle open mics. You mean so other viewers can uh, talk? Is that what you're asking, Judy? Uh, let's see, Shirley, maybe we can have attorney in Georgia and see your bloopers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I need to put it together. I have a lot of them. Oh my goodness. They're really embarrassing and funny. Um, let's see. I would love to have a tournament. I would love to have a group. Right now I have a very tiny group. So if anybody lives in the Atlanta area, North, North Georgia, please look for Peachy Keen Mahjong. I would love to have you join my meetup so we can play Mahjong. Right now I think I have five members. So we need help. We need players. Okay, let's see. Oh, surely, so we can chat back and forth. I, I don't think uh, we have that ability. The only ability I, I know of is the, um, the um, typing chat, you know, live chat where you type. 
that's the only way I, I know of doing it. And then I do know how to interview somebody, which is another thing that I've learned. I, I am now subscribing to a software called Be Live, so I can do interviews with community members. And uh, that's gonna be a really fun thing to do every now and then. I, I was thinking about doing it quarterly, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't know if any of you saw the interview with Greg Swain. She's the author of Mahjong, The Art of the Game. It's a beautiful book, and that was my first interview. And I think her first Facebook interview, too. It was really fun. So we have nines and twos. Not good. But we do have some green dragons. I think the nine dots are going to have to be joker bait, and we have tiles to pass. This is a little risky because of the four five. We have a two four five. Maybe we can mix that up and get rid of the five. I think I will. Okay, let's see. Judy says, loved the interview with Greg. Oh, I'm so glad. I was so nervous, <laughs> but we got through it. Cause I'd never, you know, I'd tested the software twice, but you know, something, something can go wrong uh, when you go live and you just have to roll with it. So you gotta be on your toes and manage any technical problems that occur. So it can be a challenge. Let's see, Shirley, if you ever get to Norcross, I will give you a call. Actually, the Peachy Keen Mahjong, we play in Alpharetta, which that's not far from Norcross. Do you know the Alpine, Alpine uh, Trattoria and Bakery? Or is it Alpine Bakery and Trattoria on, off Crabapple? That's where we meet to play Mahjong. Hey, look, we got a keeper. We got lots of keepers. So we need to pick a hand here. We've got lots of pairs. We need to pick a hand because I only have two tiles to pass and I'm not passing a pair. We have two, three, four green. One, two. I think there's more flexibility given up the one because we could play the two, three, four Kong hand or we could play two, three, four and use the greens as joker bait. Okay. Oh, thank you, Judy. Okay, we've got tiles to pass, so no worries here. Let's see if we can do another Charleston. It's always good to continue. Don't break the Charleston or stop the Charleston if you're between hands or if you're between categories. You're better off to pick a hand or whittle down to one category and continue. That always causes a big ruckus on Facebook when people start talking about stopping the Charleston if they're between hands. All right, Shirley says, no, but granddaughter lives in Alpharetta. Okay, that's nice. Time for a visit, Shirley. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see. Let's pass these three, I guess. I mean, they're, it's going to be, e well, maybe a 5-9 is better than a 5-6, and a 5-9 is better than a 6-9. Let's try it. it it's probably 6 one half dozen the other as far as risk We got the one bam back and we have discards, so we're good. If we get a five bam, maybe we could play a pair hand, the one through five pair hand. The five bam would be really nice. I would love to win a pair hand. Oh, eight bam. That's the wrong suit, but we have discards. Very nice. Three to pass. Let's hope we can get a five bam. I would love to play a pair hand. This would be the fourth hand down under singles and pairs, but we have a gap. So that's kind of a long shot right now. I think we're probably closest to the two, three, four consecutive run Kong hand. That hand is the third hand down. No, no, no. The four, fifth hand down under consecutive run. We could also do two, three or one, two with the dragons and hold the fours as joker bait. I mean, there's a little flexibility there. We're really in between, probably three hands right now, all consecutive run. Oh, we got a three, nice. Okay, let's see what happens. We have two discards right now for the pair hand. I think I'm gonna push for it, even though we have a gap. Let's get rid of the south. Anytime the winds go down, I follow suit, especially if it's not something I'm considering. 
Let's see. Uh, I wonder what happened to Graham. I'll have to ask him. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. I think, um, thanks for bringing that up. I'll reach out to him and see. He's been fun to play with and chat with. He's been also very supportive of the channel. Okay, we got a red dragon. Let's see. Irene says, is there a setting for discards to be called out? Yes. Who, uh, let's see. When I play, it doesn't call out the discards. Okay, remind me after this game. I'll show you. It's called, um, it, it's under the audio setting. Let me see here. Seven characters. I'm going to pull up the settings again. Game settings. Oh, there it is. It's under general settings, tile names. If it is deselected, it will not name them. If you select tile names, it will say the name. Six bamboos. So that's how you do it. Did you see that, uh, Irene? Okay, Judy, does Peachy Keen ev ever have an open house for people who would like to learn? I, I actually offer lessons in uh, at the JCC in Dunwoody, and I do offer private lessons. Uh, one dot. Okay, one now dot. I'm thinking probably the two, three consecutive run Kong East hand wind. with uh, dragons, maybe. Let's see, that's what I'm talking about, just figuring all that out. I did videos on all the things we talked about tonight, believe it or not. Okay, a red dragon. Okay, now we're two away from that pair hand. If we can get a five bam, I think I might go for it. Okay, uh, yes, all that, Elizabeth, I talk about in that playlist that I'm gonna be publishing, maybe tomorrow night. I think my husband works late tomorrow, so I should be able to do YouTube stuff tomorrow Eight night. Bamboos. If we can get a five bam, that would be sweet. Wrong suit. Bummer. So we're in between two, three dragon Kong hand and the consecutive run pair hand. We have a gap though. And that Five that's why it would take less lower precedence. Let's Five see dots. what happens. Okay, Judy says, my sister lives in Atlanta and I think she would love to learn. She used to play bridge and needs a new interest. If she loved, okay, nope, we're not gonna take that. Uh, if she liked uh, bridge card game, she would love Mahjong. Have her contact the JCC in Dunwoody because I'm doing lessons in the fall. I'm going to do a boot camp, and I believe I'm gonna do a skill builder as well for people who want to improve their game at the JCC in Dunwoody, which is an Atlanta Green suburb. Characters. And I do offer private lessons oh. and I do offer lessons through my meetup on request Green if I get enough characters. players. So if she joins Peachy Keen Mahjong Green and I can character. find some other players who want to learn how to play, then oh. we could do a, a special uh, lesson through the meetup. Eight and I, I do offer lower tuition for meetup members okay we're gonna go ahead and kong that kong. we'll get rid of the four bam went down so let's get rid of that because we could play the one or the three the three is actually set i think we should go ahead and just fo focus on the two three dragon kong hand uh third hand down and use the ones as joker bait north wind Okay, let's see here. Let's Will do, she it. lives in Chastain Park. She'd probably be closer to the Dunwoody uh, opportunity this fall. If she doesn't want to wait, she can join the meetup. Uh, Bridge and Mahjong go hand in hand, love them both. If, if you love to play cards, you would probably love Mahjong. Bamboo. Typically. Okay, somebody's thinking about that. All right, so we have three discards. Yeah, that, that pair hand didn't come in, but we, we got pungs and those way heavier than the pairs. So that's why I went with the Kong hand instead of the pair hand. Plus the pair hand had a gap. Anytime you have a pair hand or any kind of a gap hand, that should take a lower priority in your decision making. There's a joker exchange. We just got a joker. So now the hand is set. We just need a flower. But we can call for a flower to win. 
west wind. Let's see. There are no green dragons out, and there are no three bams out either. North wind. So one three, they're probably playing either a knitted hand or the one three five, uh, one suit Four, Kong five. hand. There are no five Nine cracks bamboos. out, and there are no five bams out. So they could be playing knitted, a knitted. Um, hand basically it's Nine the fourth dots. hand down under odds Kong. so those are their two potential hands there Seven they could dots. also be playing the consecutive knitted Eight with a two characters. two dot or two bam and then the corresponding dragon we'll have to wait Eight and see dots. but there are two two dots out and four two bams out so most likely they are playing the odd one suit Kong hand or the knitted um, little odds hand. Seven dots. Six crack. That's out. We can discard that safely. Six characters. I never learned how to play bridge. I heard it's really complicated. Nine and I've heard that there are a lot of aggressive players with bridge. Five so I kind of have always shied away from it. Okay, now that five bam went down and they didn't Three hesitate. Dots. So this seven bam is a good safe tile. The player across is playing five, seven, seven, nine, two five suit, bamboo. pung, pung, kong, kong. So they're playing the second hand down. They could be playing six, One seven, eight, bamboo. nine, but there are three, eight cracks out. So I don't think they're playing consecutive run. I think they're playing five, seven, seven, nine. One bamboo. Yeah, that's, these are safe tiles. Oh, we got a keeper. Nice. Okay, One duplicate bamboo. bridges like Mahjong tourney play. Yes, I've heard about Two duplicate. And they're now doing a duplicate Mahjong West as well, win. which is interesting. They're going to do a demo, I believe in November in New Jersey at a tournament hosted by, I believe it's called Four Winds Mahjong or something like that. And they're going to do a demonstration of duplicate Mahjong for American style, which will be really interesting. We're going to Kong that. Okay, we're ready to win on a flower. And the player across, they will not need flowers. These other two, though, may need flowers. We'll see. Duplicate bridge is the same as contract bridge. Okay, they won. All right. Very nice. They got that hand. Kudos. So I think we won two hands tonight. So I'm very pleased. I'm telling you, it's been really discouraging lately, but I'm very encouraged now. And I'm so thankful for all the support through Super Chats and the new channel members. Thank you, everybody, for that support to the channel. And for those of you who joined me on the live stream, thank you so much for your support. Just joining in on the chat and uh, the camaraderie in the community. I just am so pleased with the friends that we're all making together. It's so much fun. And I hope somehow, some way to be able to meet people. I mean, I went out to Santa Barbara and I met several, many uh, subscribers and it was so much fun. So I hope for more and more opportunities. As far as travel for the rest of the year, I am going to Savannah in October. I don't know dates yet, but I will post a, an event for that because I think we're going to try to do some kind of a shindig, some kind of a casual meetup. It's not going to be a convention or a tournament or anything like that, but I am hoping that I'll be able to do something special uh, for my Savannah trip. I'm also going to be going to South Carolina, but I'm going to be playing with a private group there. Uh, but maybe a meetup if there are any other uh, players out there that might be fun. And then also I'm going to be traveling to Destin, Florida in December. So I would love to meet any of you if you're in those areas. Just send me a, an email. My email address is below the video. So you're welcome to do that. And uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining in this live stream. It's always a pleasure to have you. And as always, please post any questions that you might have below the video, especially if you cringed on any of my decision making. I'm happy to explain myself because I know I, I play a little differently than some people. <clears throat> so I'm happy to share about that. And let's see, what else do we need to share 
The next live stream is going to be for Richie Mahjong. So if you're interested in Richie Mahjong, you can join me next week at 7 p.m. on YouTube for Richie Mahjong. Let's hope for some population. Usually there's only one or two tables. So that's a little scary doing a live stream with a small population. We need to build the community for Richie Mahjong. So if you're interested in learning how to play, please see all my YouTube channels or my YouTube videos to learn how to play. It's a great style. It's very flexible, but it's very sophisticated and strategic. So if you're an analytical thinker and you like strategy, that's a really great version to learn. Let's see. So if you're watching the repost, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the session. You can chat um, or leave any comments below the video as well. And I'm happy to respond to any questions you may have there. So with that, uh, let's see. Someone asks, what's the video of the new game you, you just got? The new game, my new game. Are you talking about MCR, Mahjong competition rules? Let's see, Shirley said, I think you do a great job in teaching as well as playing. Oh, thank you very much. I've been doing it for a very long time. Well, I mean, I've been doing it on YouTube for uh, almost, uh, well, a year and four months about, but I've been teaching and playing since this version, American style anyway, well, really all versions since 1990. So I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> Oh, the, the unboxing. Let's see here. Maureen asks about the unboxing. Um, your new Mahjong set. Oh, when when are you when will I use my new Mahjong set? That will be used for Wright Patterson Mahjong. And those videos are published on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And you'll see my new Mahjong set uh, in the September beginning the September cycle because I've already got all of August is, um, all the August videos are done. So I think I'm good until the second week in September or something like that with my videos. So let's see, where's the unboxing video? Okay, let's see here. The unboxing video. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on one second. Bear with me, I'm trying to find it. And my bangs are doing kooky, kooky things. Bangs. Bangs when you have thin hair, that's not good. Okay, let's see, unboxing, here we go. Okay, copy link. I'll post it, I'll post it in the chat, okay? That way you can find it really easily. It was a fun video to make. Okay, here it is. There it is for you, Elizabeth. Okay, do I have a Wright-Patterson group? No, I do not. I've taught a couple people how to play, but uh, it, it can be a little intimidating because, you know, there's 80 hands to learn. So, uh, but the more you play, the more comfortable it is. It's kind of like, it's comparable to learning MCR, I think. Um, but you, you get your own little booklet with all the hands in it. So it's not that hard, I don't think. And if you know how to play Cantonese style, it, it's not that much different than playing Wright Patterson. The difference is that all the hands have names to it. They're, it's basically like a bunch of special hands. On, in Hong Kong style, you play four sets in a pair, but there are like 10 special hands. Well, if you think about Wright Patterson style, they have 80 special hands. And there's just, that's just how you play. You just have to find a specific hand. But they are broken out in categories, which is one way that it's kind of similar to American style. And they do have one Charleston. Okay, let's see. All right, bye, Elizabeth. Okay, so many hands to learn. Wright Patterson is fun. It is fun. I love Wright Pat. Shirley says, yes, we had one person who wanted to teach us, but I would have to learn it. Yes, but it's worth it. It really is a lot of fun. And the hands are, are very cleverly named and created. And they release the booklet about every five to six years. So you have years to get used to it. So after a year of playing consistently for even once a month or even a, a weekly, you won't even need that book. Uh, like when I play, a lot of times I don't even need to refer to the book. Maybe just to confirm 
a hand that I might be playing. So um, try not to be intimidated about it and give it a try. It really is a lot of fun. So with that, does anybody have any more questions <coughs> for tonight? Because I think that concludes our live stream. I really had a great time. I'm so glad that you've all come to join me. So I think I'll go ahead and do my normal sign off. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.